Hello, hi guys, hi, how are you? Welcome to the Walter Orangi Sports Show. This is a very interactive sports show where I go across all sports media, get what the media is saying about uh, sports, capture all the sports in terms of the results and put it to you in a manageable way where you can get uh, yourself engaged and also give us your feedback. This is a very interactive show and ladies and gentlemen, back at home as you're seated, relax and enjoy. I'd like to welcome you to our third episode, which is the pretty much review of this weekend's games. And um, I'd, 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 I'd take an opportunity to introduce my guest today, who is uh, George Sagini. He's our resident guest, and we are always, it's always a pleasure to have him here. Welcome, George. Asante sana, Bwana. And uh, <clears throat> this week, uh, we have uh, Kenya Cup to talk about. Uh, Kenya Cup is going into March day two. Mm -hmm. And um, the first game of this weekend, we have. Uh, Black Blur taking on Menengai Oilers. The, the game will be live at uh, the Arifuya ground. That is at 1 p.m. The second game will be uh, Kenya Harlequins taking on uh, the defending champions KCB. The third match uh, will be Strathmore Leos will be taking on uh, Cabra Sugar who are making the trip all the way from Kakamega to Nairobi. The game will be at 3 p.m. at Impala Club. And the final match of the day will be Top Fry Nakura FC will be hosting the newbies most. So I'd like to get deeper into this uh, weekend's game and what, what's your take on the first game that is uh, Black Blood taking on the Menengai Oilers? Well, um, uh, Black Blood had a very interesting game against Nakuru the other weekend. Uh, I, I hope uh, when they're facing, uh, they'll go to that game with a bit of confidence, but uh, Menengai Oilers had a very good game against Kenya Halikon. So I feel I feel this is a very easy match for Menengai Oilers. I'm, I'm definitely thinking that they will beat uh, Black Blood, RFC. Uh, of course, you know uh, we had expected that uh, Menengai Oilers would, would would beat Kenya Halikons, and they definitely did that. Okay. Yeah. So for me, uh, it's an easy game for Menengai Oilers. Looking at uh, Menengai Oilers, uh, Menengai Oilers are a very solid team yeah, yeah. and uh, you look at how they executed their plays against uh, Kenya Harlequins. Kenya Harlequins. It, it's not going to be an easy game against Black Blood. However, it, it has always been a bogey game uh, between Kenya, uh, between Black Blood and Menengai Oilers because the Oilers come to Kenyatta University grounds and every other time they've come to KU they've, they've beaten Kenyatta University. So on paper it looks like it's an easy game mm -hmm. but um, it, in reality, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contest. It's, it's, it's a, a contest. Really, it's a really good contest. And uh, you'd put the two teams at uh, mid-table level mm -hmm. in terms of who they have mm -hmm. in their ranks. Um, Nakuru, uh, the Menengai Oilers side from Nakuru has very young, exciting kids, same as uh, the university students from Kenyatta University. So I'd, 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 I'd look at that game and, and think about uh, the game being a balanced out game. So whatever the result that comes out, and remember it's on a neutral venue, it will be held at the RFA ground, ground, so yeah. it's, it's still not still not an easy game for the two sides. So yeah, also fans can catch the game, it's, it's going to be live on Yeah, K the game is going to be live on Kato. Yeah, but you, guys, you guys can watch the game live. So who's your, who's your, who's winning that one? Menengai Oilers. Menengai Oilers. I'd, I'd vouch for Menengai Oilers myself, so... Uh, Dude, you are a black I'd, I'd vouch that for That is them. what you said. I am a black Stick blood. to your team. I am a black blood. Stick to your team, man. Fun. Well, at least I can say this time round I'll support Oilers because they are, they are Nakuru's, you know. At you know, there is me, I wouldn't be going far from home, but no, no, stick no, no, to your no, team. No. I support Black Blood RFC. Let's okay. put it out very clearly. Okay. However, mm -hmm. um, there's that reality that we live in. Wow. You can support a team so much, but uh, looking at who they are playing, I, I understand that Black Blood will put up a fight, mm -hmm. but it might not be enough. It might not be enough, but uh, it's a balance. No, guys, let it go on record that uh, Walter Orangi <laughs> is not loyal to his team. So I am loyal to the flow. Let it go. <laughs> I am very loyal to anyway, the flow. Um, so for the second game, uh, Kenya Harlequins are playing host to KCB. KCB. I saw Coach Kolago uh, put up a statement saying they expect a very good uh, game against mm -hmm. Kenya Harlequins. What's your take? Kenya Harlequins have done a lot of signings. Um, they've brought in the likes of Joshua Chisanga from the Menengai Cream Homeboys. Mavala. They've bought uh, Asena, Mavala, they've bought um, Xavier from Impala. Impala. So it, it looks like a new team altogether. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
if that team gels and on a good day they have a, a good a good setup and a, a good attacking platform they can really play some rugby what, what's your take on that game um in, initially initially i've i've seen uh, meninga i mean i've seen kenya harlequins put a very good fight against kcb they've been meeting on uh, especially on the on the playoffs yes they've been really putting on a good fight but all the all through all the time kcb have always won against uh, the kenya harlequins uh it's going to be a battle especially on the forwards because kenya harlequins have an experienced set of forwards the same as uh, uh, KCB, KCB. Yeah. They have, a, have a good set of fans. So I'm, I'm hoping to see uh, who will win the scrums. So yeah. for me, for me, whatever will t- because if it's experienced, both teams are experienced. Okay. If it's a good set of players, they have good set of players. If it's a good coaching, they have good coaches. So yeah. I, uh, I think what's gonna take the day is uh, you know definitely the confidence that that both both teams will have as okay. they head to to the game. So I bet. Um, but, but my take still is I, I think uh, looking at what looking at how KCB played the other weekend, yes. uh, they came they came in very well during the second half to win. So I think going into this game they would want to put a statement out there that you know what guys we are the reigning champions we are the defending champions of this cup. So we are going into this game and we are going to tell the world that we we are still KCB. So I'm I'm hopeful that. Uh, that 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 confidence. If they go with that confidence, they'll definitely win against okay. uh, Kenya Harlequins. Speaking of KCB, KCB had uh, had on paper last weekend. Everyone thought really that uh, going KCB to was going to have a, a good run, True. and uh, it ended up being a very very cagey affair between KCB and Strathmore. And kudos to the Strathmore Leos kid. Uh, they students. played. They, they played. played, well, played uh, their hearts out. They played so well. uh, I, I'm I'm thinking Colago has 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 something that he needs to to prove to i think the world the world uh, looking at how cabra started off uh, mm-hmm. last weekend mm-hmm. uh, just pushing over um, masinde mulero 56-0 it means that uh, either kcb get into gear 2 and it, they really need to get into the second gear on the second week of uh, of the season as compared to waiting because it's a condensed season it's an eight eight format mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm made aware that uh, in a couple of weeks the, the other teams that didn't didn't join up from match day one and two mm-hmm. are also coming on board so it means that kcb just need to kick into gear and make sure that they are in perfect condition moving into this but i'd, I'd bet on uh, thorough experience and um, uh, ruthless execution from kcb and mm-hmm. I'd, I'd give kcb that game uh, the third game of the weekend is um, Strathmore Leos are playing host uh, to Cabra Sugar. The Cabra's team is uh, is by far the team that has set standards in the league this year. True. If you look at uh, where they are, mm-hmm. the first game they won comfortably at home against Masinde Muliro. Uh, they are coming. They're making the trip all the way to Nairobi to play uh, Strathmore Leos. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Strathmore Leos are still. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody really understands how they play, and that is why really KCB had the the, the, the kind of run they had against them. What's your take on uh, Cabras versus Strathmore? Um, notably, um, Cabras will win the game, but I expect, especially now that uh, the game will play will play at Madara. At Impala, no, it's at Impala. At Impala. Uh, I really think Strathmore will, will will put a very good fight. They will not go down. Easily, yeah, like yes. like the like uh, most did, did play the other weekend. So hopefully Strathmore will uh, expect that good fight from Strathmore. They're not going to give it easy to Cabras. Yes. But uh, betting how Cabras played against uh, most the other weekend. Cabras made nine changes, and and they have a luxury of players that uh, mm. can easily can easily easily make uh, a game move in one direction yeah. or the other. Mm. So I'm um, thinking. Uh, this game has to be Cabras, really. It has we to have to give it to Cabras. Yeah. And now for the final fixture of this match week, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, Masinde Moliro uh, traveling all the way to Nakuru to to play Top Rider Nakuru IFC. A game um, I'd, I'd say should be an easy game on paper for Top Rider Nakuru IFC, but it's going to be a tough encounter playing Masinde Moliro. It's second. Second game, of course, for the season. Masinde Moliro had a playoff fixture between themselves and Min Machine, and then played yeah. in a, mm. uh, played a tough encounter, and they came out on top. Mm-hmm. So, 
what what's your take? I know you support Nakuru, uh, <laughs> and then we are playing at home again. So, so, so definitely Nakuru will win the game. Uh, they didn't. Uh, they didn't. They didn't play. They, they didn't win the game against Black like I'd expect them to. But uh, you know, a win is a win. Uh, if if I look at Moost and uh, Moost are new to to this thing. Yes, it's, it's, uh, they're new to this thing and. Uh, they don't have a very good set of forwards. The, the forwards that I saw playing during the championship, going to them to again Kenya Cup is uh, you can't really win a game with, with that kind of set of forwards. So I bet Nakuru have a good and experienced side yeah. in terms of forwards. Yeah. That is where this 15th game is won. So and they're again traveling to to Nakuru. So. I bet I bet top fry Nakuru will still win. Will still win against most. Okay. Yeah. So folks back at home, uh, that that has been our thought uh, on on what match day two Kenya Cup is going to be about. And you back at home can also join in the conversation. Please do make sure that you leave your comments and also tell us what you think about uh, what will happen this weekend. Pick out your specific and your lab team and make sure you make a prediction on your team as we move move on to match day two of. The Kenya Cup, that is the 2020-21 season. And now further afield, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is very interesting. Super Rugby is making its way uh, across the world again. This is the second weekend and we have lots of fixtures coming up this weekend. The first weekend had uh, the Hurricanes losing at home to Blues. But this week we have an interesting fixture. We have Chiefs uh, taking on the Highlanders on Friday. And on Saturday in the AU, uh, that is the Rugby Australia version of the Super Rugby, we have Waratahs taking on Western Force. And uh, round two of the Super Rugby Aotearoa, that is uh, Aotearoa, that is New Zealand. We have Crusaders taking on the Hurricanes, and I, I think that is really touted as the biggest game of the weekend. And lastly, moving into the second round, which is uh, Rebels versus Brumbies. Rebels uh, <clears throat> are coming in into this game um, having lost, that is in the previous week, and uh, Brambies are in red hot form. So bringing in my resident guest again to divulge much into this, what, what's your take on this weekend's game? We have the first game, Chiefs versus Highlanders. Chiefs versus Highlanders, uh, I think Chiefs will carry the, the day. For me, Chiefs played better than the other game, yes, in the last weekend's game. So I hope, uh, and, and Previously, Chiefs have had a very good run, especially in the first few games. They've always been winning the first few games, especially the other season. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happens mid mid season or towards the end of the season, but uh, and uh, they, they they have a black captain in the team, so mm. I, I really hope Chiefs will uh, win the game against Thailand. Well, just just to correct you a bit, it was uh, Chiefs last week had a, a bye, so which means. They didn't. They didn't turn up. So this week, oh, they did. Oh, they did. It was oh. the Highlanders who yeah, played. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. So the the the, the Chiefs, um, ha they are going into this game. It's the first game. Um, they've not played any game this year. They came in last last year yeah. in terms of uh, the league standings. But uh, they have a new coach. The second season that is uh, Gatland, and and Gatland is really experienced. So I'd, I'd expect. Uh, the Chiefs to, to put up a show, they're at home, they're in Waikato, mm -hmm. so which means uh, the Chiefs are, they've already even named a very strong, strong side. side. Uh, the Highlanders, of course, uh, shaky as, it, as, as, as they may look, they put up a very good fight okay. against the defending champions last week. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the Chiefs might go with this one because they're, they're really fresh, they're playing at home. But it might be a, a very tough encounter this weekend. The second game is the Waratahs versus uh, Western Force. Waratahs are fresh from a 61-10 drabbing by the Brumbies, so mm -hmm. I'd, 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 I'd be interested to look at how they turn up this weekend, probably try and react to last week's uh, uh, mm -hmm. result. Uh, so I'm giving them that one. Uh, the Crusaders versus mm -hmm. the Hurricanes. This is billed as the match of the weekend. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Crusaders, uh, defending champions, uh, taking on the Hurricanes, the Hurricanes with host and, and a lot of uh, All Blacks. The Crusaders is full of the All Blacks, so it, it pans out as a very good game for the weekend. For the neutrals, a very good game to watch, but for the fans and supporters of the two teams, Crusaders versus Hurricanes. 
I'm, 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 I'm inclined and I'm biasedly going for the Crusaders just simply because they have the experience to win. What's your take on that? I'm an Hurricanes fan, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say they lose, like you said, against uh, with the team Black Blood. Uh, I, I really hope. I, I know Crusaders are experienced; they are defending champions, but uh, I'm still rooting for uh, the Hurricanes to beat Crusaders. Yeah, folks, he's he's just said uh, his team is going to lose in another <laughs> way. He just doesn't want to accept it. <laughs> well, that's that has been our Super Rugby preview. We, our take has been Crusaders is going to pick uh, a win out of this weekend. And my other pick was uh, Chiefs was going to beat the uh, Highlanders, that is at home. So moving on swiftly, we have uh, international news coming our way and that is the World Rugby announcing that uh, the Rugby World Cup, that is the Women's uh, Rugby World Cup that was supposed to be hosted in New Zealand, this year has been postponed. So tough luck to the preparing teams. I, I know that our ladies, the Kenya Lionesses are getting ready to play one more game that is against Colombia that was a home, a home game that was supposed to host later on in the year uh, but uh, now that it has been postponed hopefully the World Rugby uh, fraternity can be able to advise further and we await news on uh, the Rugby World Cup that is the 2021 version of the game. Now moving on a field we have the HSBC 7s that is the Rugby 7s guys that, that what we love about our national team making its way across the world and also taking part in festivals, Rugby Sevens festivals, has made its return to our screens. And uh, we are lucky to have uh, the, the schedule with us here. The HSBC World Rugby Sevens Series for 2021 will have uh, Marcosis, that is the women's uh, version of the game. It will be held on um, 15th to 16th May, that is uh, the first weekend. And in May itself, that is 22nd to 23rd, we'll have an, the second round of the Makosi Sevens. And then we'll head over to Canada Sevens, that is the men, uh, and it will be confirmed to be held in September. Then we have the HSBC London Sevens, that is the men's uh, version, that will be confirmed later on. HSBC Singapore Sevens, that will be held on the 29th and 30th of October, that is the men's uh, category. Then we'll have the Cathay Pacific, Hong Kong 7s, that will be held, it has a men's and women uh, version of the game, so that will be held on the 5th to the 7th of November. Emirates Dubai 7s, which is uh, of course an annual tournament that is attended by a qualifying team by the African Rugby 7s. Uh, the winners of the Rugby Africa 7s uh, always get a ticket to go and take part in the Dubai 7s and the Cape Town 7s. And this is going to be held on the 3rd and 4th of December. And to finish up uh, the short end and the, the condensed 7 series, that is the 2021 version, is the HSBC Cape Town 7s that will be held on the 10th, uh, 10th to 12th December. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, mark your dates, uh, the 7s is making its return to our screens, hopefully in preparation for, uh, that is the Olympics 7s uh, later on this year. And we do wish all the participating teams all the best as they uh, organize themselves. And, and you know, the pandemic has brought really a lot in terms of preparation series. And we need uh, a lot in terms of work to be put into our National 7 sides to be able to compete in the World 7 series. So all the best to all the participating teams. And that is pretty much our review for rugby. And now, folks, further afield, we have the EPL games lined up this weekend. We have lots and lots of football activity happening across England this coming weekend. And starting off this, uh, that is the round of 27 matches, we have Burnley taking on Arsenal. Second game will be Sheffield United up against Southern, Southampton. Aston Villa will play host to the Wolves. Brighton will be taking on the Leicester Tigers. West Brom will be up against Newcastle Falcons. Liverpool will be up against Fulham. Manchester City will be taking on Manchester United in the biggest game of the weekend. Tottenham will play host to Crystal Palace in a reverse of the fixture that happened last week. That is a London derby. And last but not least, we have Chelsea uh, taking on Everton. That is a home fixture for Chelsea that will be held on Monday night. And in the final Monday night fixture, we'll have West Ham taking on Leeds. And now to bring in my resident guest, uh, George, the EPL is in a position where you'd say that if you lose, you, if you snooze, you lose. Uh, what's your take on the Manchester United versus Manchester City game, billed as the game of the weekend? As a sports person, I think Man City have really 
there are 12 12 points uh, away the, the, the second person is I, I mean <laughs> man city are playing really well and they're winning games but out here the 12 points clear to the second uh, the, the, the nini. but it's actually 14 points it's 14 now yeah oh, because oh nini, they, won, they, they won they won the uh, other yeah. they won versus uh what that was um Wolves, they beat Wolves, Wolves to one. Yeah, yeah. Man, man, man United drew yesterday. Yeah, Manchester United also drew. Uh, so, I think uh, <laughs> if I'm a sports person, I'd want Man City to lose because those are so many points. They've, they've acquired so many points. I want them to reduce that cap to Dogo for, for these other teams too. I mean, <laughs> but um, I'm really rooting for... We beat them the other season on Monday. Yeah. This is a new season. They're, they're, they're really good players. They're playing very well, confidently. Yes. But uh, they're on a serious bounce. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about the game because my heart feels I want Manchester United to win. But, but you're a Manchester how, United fan. Yes. Right? You just told me that looking if I how, say black, black, we <laughs> lose. Looking at how Man City are playing, looking at how Man City are playing, it uh, looks like. They'll beat Man United, but uh, Manchester United till I die. Well, folks, uh, he's he's just said that uh, his team will lose again. No, I didn't say uh, that. So that is one one. So you guys that. back at home, just watch out for a small duel between myself and George. I mean, just discussing what what our teams are gonna get in terms of uh, results this weekend. But I, I'd, I'd strongly say that Manchester City are on a serious uh, form in terms of the run in the league. They've, uh, I think this is a bounce of around 14-15 games that they've gone and beaten. And that really means that they have their mojo right, they have the, everything in terms of preparation right. And it means that at the tail end of the season, if they continue with their winning streak, they'll be awarded uh, the top honours of winning the EPL. So I'm, I'm thinking uh, this weekend serves as an opportunity for Manchester City to lose. And the, the, the team that can really take Manchester City to the cleaners is Manchester United. And, and, and for some strange reason this weekend, I'm backing Manchester United to beat Manchester City. I told you, it, the haters are going to love us. <laughs> we are not haters. <laughs> but for my, for my overall uh, view, City uh, might take the league this year, they've done very well. Uh, but talking about point difference, uh, they've done a 14 point gap at the top. But Liverpool did almost a 20 something point gap last year and they went all the way and won the league. So it's, it's not really a surprise. And it's, I look at this weekend, or I look at the league this weekend, uh, the standings and everything, mm -hmm. and uh, think about the league. City started off on a very bad footing. They, I think they had their worst start to the yes, season, yes. but they've put up a very good run and uh, they're now 15, 14 points clear. Yes. So it, it clearly means that uh, the start doesn't really matter. The doesn't, finishing is what doesn't matters. Really matter. So folks, uh, that has been our Premier League uh, preview and we would like to do a match uh, prediction score. So, and this is the game we play every other week and you back at home can also join in. Just do your preview and your pre-match analysis and also do your score predictions for the game. I've, I've, I've put the game this weekend, uh, <clears throat> the fixtures that we have, Burnley versus Arsenal. Looks as a, a, a match that uh, Arsenal can easily win, but uh, you know Arsenal, they always come up and do something on, the, <laughs> on that fateful day. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving Arsenal the win, reluctantly giving Arsenal the win. Sheffield United versus Southampton. Sheffield are uh, shocking everyone. They, they're fresh from beating Aston Villa, so I'd, uh, I'd be inclined to give them that uh, opportunity because they are doing a lot in terms of fighting their relegation fight. Uh, and the beat, uh, what, what's your take on um, Aston Villa versus Wolves? And what, what's the scoreline for you? Uh, I think uh, Wolves, Wolves are... Uh they have a, a really good, a really good uh, uh, season in terms, yeah. of, in terms of because we expect them. They are under, they're actually underdogs, but they've really played well in, uh, against these other big teams. So, but I think st I, I still, I still believe that Aston Villa will beat them. But it's going to be a, a very good game for the, the Wolves are going to play a very good game. But I'm, I'm for Aston Villa to win. Brighton Leicester, definitely Leicester. So you, you, you take that Leicester. Take his Leicester. Uh, West Brom Newcastle. West Brom, of course. Newcastle, uh, well, 
you take they're, his they're, West Brom because they're hosting. Yes, and then the Newcastle, the Newcastle for they've struggled a bit, Kidogo. Yes, they have. They, they, they've, they've struggled a bit, Kidogo, and uh, West Brom at home, so they, yeah. they are comfortable okay. against. Uh, they be comfortable during that game. Liverpool versus Fulham. Uh, Liverpool, of course, uh, expect them to win against uh, Fulham. Should the goalkeeper not do those things he normally does? <laughs> Cold feet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, but I expect Liverpool to win the game. Uh, Tottenham, Crystal Palace. That that is a really interest. That is a very very interesting game. But uh, Tottenham, if if Tottenham decide to play like they always play, yes. they will they will definitely win this game. So okay. I'm rooting for Tottenham. Okay. Yes. And then Chelsea versus Everton. Chelsea will definitely win the game, but <laughs> because Chelsea are Chelsea are fighting to be in, in the in the in 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 in, in, uh, in the top four, so it's, it's really going to be a cracker of a game. Everton is also is not also an, it's yes. not a pushover. Yes. Everton have started very well. They brought in uh, Carlo Ancelotti as their mm-hmm. coach. They made a host of signings. James Rodriguez. They, they are doing in, so well in terms of. Wanting to play, play PL very well. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing Sumari, so Ducore. But uh, I've seen the steps, the bold steps that Chelsea have made yes. to be where they are right now. And I, if they, they st- if they, if they have the same, the the, the, the same focus, they, main, they maintain the focus that they have. Uh, I think uh, they, they're gonna win uh, uh, against Everton. And uh, in the last game we have uh, that is we- uh, Leeds uh, traveling to London to take on West Ham. West Ham have uh, West Ham have played some really bril- uh, brilliant mm-hmm. rugby. They have they have very good kids in their ranks. Mm-hmm. The likes of Declan Rice. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have the likes of um, who is this? Thomas Suchek. They have able people that can can put up a challenge on any weekend. That is a sporting weekend. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm looking at them and I'm like, they are, they are outside, they're in the top four, let's not yes. forget that. They, yes. they start this weekend uh, in the top four, the top four. Uh, a bit narrow in terms of the, the lead uh, between themselves and the number five team, that is Chelsea. Mm-hmm. But I, I'd still not uh, rule them away in terms of the fight, but they've put up a fight for either Europe uh, qualification, that is the Europa League, True. or mm-hmm. UEFA Champions yeah. League. So, I think West Ham will win the game. West Ham will win yes. that. All right, folks, uh, we've had uh, a, a, here and there between myself and my guest here in terms of the EPL, trying to capture what is going to happen this weekend, who's going to be uh, playing where and what's going to be happening. So we'd like to you to, to come to you, the fan back at home, and, and put your perspective into motion. What is your take? Who's going to win the league this, uh, this year? Who's going to play their best brand of football and come on top in this match day, uh, that is match day 27? You can join in on the conversation and we would like to have your feedback. Of course, every other time I get uh, communication from you, the fan, it's, it's very important. And I'm happy for those people that have liked, followed and subscribed to our channel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure hosting this uh, show this, uh, this morning. And I'd like to wish you guys a perfect day ahead as you guys get back with your activities. Thank you so much and I'll see you back at the show.